Good morning, everybody. It is 8.15 in the morning. It is Friday, October 13th. It's Friday the 13th, guys. Right now, I'm getting ready for work. I'm pretty much ready. Alexia's ready, and she's downstairs chilling with my mom because my mom likes to play with her in the morning since she doesn't see her all day. I just wanted to vlog for you all and see what today brings, even though you guys know I don't do anything most of the time on days that I work. Um, I do need to check my P.O. box after work, and I may go see about getting my phone fixed because my screen is about to, like, pop out. It's crazy, but it depends on what time I get off. I am currently editing a vlog from last Thursday, guys. Like, it's pretty much done being edited. I just have to upload it. And I also still need to do Alexia's six-month update. I am so behind, guys. But you all know from previous videos that I am busy and exhausted. I don't remember when my last day off of work was. And I work all weekend too, so um, I just wanted to say hello and show you guys that I am trying to vlog. Even though, like I said, I don't really do much. But um, I'm expecting a letter, so we'll see if I get my first letter. So yeah, I'm going to go check on Lexi and make sure... I get her a bottle before we leave because we need to leave here in about 20 minutes and um yeah I'll see you guys soon. Are you playing with the fidget spinner? <laughs> Hello. Lexi just finished her bottle. It's gone. It's gone, baby. She is wearing this outfit from Walmart. It didn't really come together, but it was on the same shelf, so they're supposed to go together. But this is actually a one. And it's really cute. You have milk all over it. Are you pulling the raspberries in me? And then these pants, and then these socks are just from Target or Walmart, I don't know. But, hi. This is her second to last box of size three diapers. And these are the baby dry ones, and I forgot I still had some of these, so we're finishing these. And then this box, and then there's one more after that. And then we'll be in size fours by then, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Probably not because these go up to 28 pounds, but she's so chunky that I just really don't know. This is my breakfast. Three pancakes and strawberries. Alexi is all strapped in and covered up. It is cold out here. Um, right there is just a bag of clothes I got from Walmart yesterday. I'll show you guys those later, but I just used some gift cards to get her some more um, wintry clothes. So, you ready to go to daycare? You gonna reach for the camera? We are running really late right now, actually. I'm leaving like 10 minutes later than usual, so. I need to get going, so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is currently like 2.15 p.m. Sorry if this is really loud, but it is hot in my car. Um, I'm currently on my break at work, and I usually don't come out to my car on my break, but my phone is dying, and the only charger I have with me is my car charger, so I'm charging my phone right now. But while I'm in here, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the things that I got at Walmart yesterday with some gift cards. I just got her some bigger clothes and a couple sippy cups just because I don't know if you guys know this but at my baby showers I got a lot of zero to three month clothes and newborn clothes and clothes that she's already grown out of so she's actually about to grow out of three to six month clothes too so I picked up some bigger clothes and then I got her two of these sippy cups they're like trainer sippies so there's this one and then this one. The doctor told me at her six month wellness checkup that she can start drinking juice and 
honestly, I don't know about that yet. I might like mix some apple juice with, they only said apple juice. So I might mix some of that with water, but I'm not gonna give her like straight apple juice yet. Um, and I don't even know if I'm gonna let her use sippy cups yet just because, I don't know, it's kind of early. She just turned six months old. So I just got those to be prepared. And then clothing wise, I got, this is a 12 month outfit. So she will probably fit this in the winter time. But there's a little penguin. I think that's a penguin and some snowflakes and it's a shirt and pants. And this is, or was, $8.44. Then I got her some pajamas. These are nine month pajamas, but she can fit this brand of nine month pajamas now because she has a couple already. But it says, I woke up this cute and it's Hello Kitty. And I had to because I love Hello Kitty and it's just super cute. And actually this is a little bit bigger. Well, it looks bigger than the one she has. So she may wear that a little bit longer. Look what I just did. I forgot to tell you guys how much this was 6.87 these shoes before i forget so they were 7.88 and they are size 4 so she won't wear these until like maybe next spring i don't know but they're really cute just little shoes she doesn't have any bigger shoes i don't think so i got her some and those are really cute and then i think there's one more outfit in here yes one more outfit this is Minnie Mouse, obviously. Minnie Mouse is super cute, so I had to get this. And it was $9.98. There we go, $9.98. And it is six to nine months, so she'll probably wear this in like January, maybe. I don't know. Maybe sooner. It says just too adorable. And it has some matching pants, so that's really cute, too. So that's what I got at Walmart. Hey guys, so I just got home. I'm still in my car, obviously, but I just got, I didn't just get off of work, but um, I, hang on, I'm gonna close my door because people are like my neighbors, you know. Um, Anyways, I got off work around six-ish, and now it's like seven, and me and my boss, um, we were just talking and talking and talking and lost track of time because we're both the closers or whatever since we're the last in in the morning so we were just talking so we lost track of time and now i'm here finally home i didn't go check my p.o box just because it's getting late it's getting dark and i have to get her out of the car seat or like bring the car seat in the post office and yeah so i'm just gonna go check it tomorrow after work so i will try to vlog see if i got anything now i'm home and I really need to film Alexia's six month update like she's almost well she's basically six and a half months so I'm super behind so I might do that hopefully I get a chance to do it also I didn't get my phone fixed it's just because again it's late and yeah that's gonna have to wait but I did get paid today which is nice and I also get paid tonight from my other job and I work tomorrow at my other job so yeah, I'm a busy girl, but I'm gonna spend some time with Lexi tonight, maybe film her update. I think you guys can see her. Hi! I'm taking my car's, like, book manual thing inside because, like, you know how on your little, on your, um, I don't know what it's called. I know nothing about cars, guys. That's why I'm gonna show my dad when your your little screen says something that's usually not there so i'm gonna try to like find it in this book see if it's in there i'm not educated on cars by the way that reminds me i was requested and i actually just got a comment about this um i've been requested like twice i don't know if it was the same person i was requested to do a car tour you do not want to see my car right now when i get it cleaned out and cleaned up and all of that i'll give you guys a car tour but it's really not that interesting so i'll probably like put it in a vlog I don't know we'll stop rambling I'll see you guys soon hi cookie you gonna show her cookie I'm waiting for my um phone to charge or my ipad to charge 
so I can film her update on it. But I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second about not really my first hate comment because I've gotten like some stupid comments before, but this one was just like, this one was really a hate comment. So I guess it is kind of like my first hate comment. First of all, I just don't understand people who do that, like watch somebody's videos just to comment a bunch of hate, especially those who do it on like multiple videos. Like who has the time to do that? Like why? What is... How is that benefiting you? So basically, this girl, she commented on a couple of my videos, but on my How I Found Out I Was Pregnant video, I think it was, she commented about how I'm irresponsible and she just went on and on and on about how like now my parents have to pick up the slack because I had a baby and she's not taken care of and I'm easy because I got pregnant and um just crazy stuff like how I have the nerve to talk about my baby daddy when I laid in bed with him like just she went on and on and on guys I don't even remember half of the stuff she said it did get to me I'm not even gonna lie but it doesn't really bother me anymore and of course people may think it does bother me because I'm sitting here talking about it but like it does bother me in a sense because like you're stupid to sit there and talk about me but it doesn't bother me to the point where I'm gonna go like sit and cry in a corner about it. I have talked about him, him, but I've never said anything like bad. I just stated that he's not really involved with her and my parents do help me, of course. I also help them in return, you know? I guess the bottom line is that just, I don't understand why people hate. But when you put yourself out there, you open yourself up to hate. So, you just kind of got to brush it off and move on, you know? We just filmed her six-month update, so I'm going to give her a bottle and try to edit that. Mm. And I need to clean my room up really, really bad. Like, it is a disaster in here, so... Hopefully she goes to bed early so I can do that, but I don't want her to go to bed early because like I said in my update that you all will see really soon, my mom watches her on the weekends and I don't want her to like wake her up super early in the morning. So on the weekends, like Friday and Saturday nights, I try to keep her up later, but she's used to going to bed early so she might just crash. She's already like falling asleep on me. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is the next day and I didn't get to say goodnight, but nothing really interesting happened after we filmed her update. She just had a bottle and we went to bed. It is 8 50. I'm about to leave for work. She just had her morning bottle and I got her dress. She's been up for like a couple of hours now, actually, because she's used to waking up early, but. She's just playing. So yeah, I'm about to go to work really soon once my mom comes downstairs. It is 8.55 and I'm leaving for work now. I'm going to be a little bit late, but that's nothing new. Um, but I think after work I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to check my P.O. box. Not sure if I'll come home first, but that is something I need to do today. So. I'll see you guys after work. I just got off work and now I'm gonna go home before I go to my P.O. box and go to the bank. It's 3.15, the bank closes at 4.30. So um, I will go very soon, but I'm gonna go home and see how Lexi's doing first. Hopefully you can hear me, my air is blowing right now because it is super hot. Um, I'm not really sure what's wrong with my air conditioning in my car. It used to work really good, but now it's starting to go out. Thankfully, it's almost winter, but I need to get that fixed. Um, but like I said, it's hot. So I went home and changed my clothes. Now I'm wearing some shorts and this t-shirt that you guys have probably seen like a million times, but whatever. And now I'm here at the post office and I'm going to check my P.O. box for the first time. I'm really excited to see if I have anything. And you guys are going to come with me. So, yeah.
Hi guys, so I got my first letter and I'm super excited. I kind of knew it was coming because she messaged me on Snapchat and told me, told me to be looking out for it. So I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it to myself first. Oh my gosh, it's long. I'm going to read it to myself first. I just read her letter and it was so, so sweet. Thank you so much, Brittany. I'm actually going to message her and ask her if I can read it out loud and like answer she asked me a couple questions see if i can answer those oh my gosh i'm so happy i'm gonna keep this forever like you guys don't even know how much letters and stuff like this would mean to me this is actually my first one and i'm like so happy like thank you so much you know i'm gonna go to the bank before it closes Is that a ball over there? Where are you going? Where are you sitting up? Look at you sitting up. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are quickly going to read Brittany's letter because I just messaged her and asked her if I could read it on camera and she said yes. So, I'm going to read it to you all. It says, Dear Alicia, I hope that you and Alexia are doing well. I can't believe that she is six months old now. I remember when I first started watching your YouTube channel and you had just had her. She is the cutest baby. Thank you so much for sharing your guys' life with me because... I know that you have a pretty busy scheduling with having to work and take care of Lexi. I applaud you for being such a strong and independent woman and making sure that Lexi has everything she needs. Majority of my friends have children. Some of them even have two or three now, but no judgment. I feel that everything happens for a reason. I'm praying that Lexi's eye surgery goes great with no complication. Again, thanks a ton for sharing your everyday lives with us. Continue to stay strong, continue to smile. God bless you. And remember to keep up the great work with Lexi. You are doing an amazing job and don't let anyone tell you different. Remember that babies are blessings slash gifts from God. Love all the way from Texas, Brittany. And she asked me two questions, so I'll go ahead and answer them for you all. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and you guys know I'm a teacher right now to one-year-olds. But I was studying elementary education, and I may continue that, or I may go into social work. I'm really not sure. It's complicated. I'm still trying to figure it out. Hopefully that answers your question, kind of. Of course, I would accept them. You guys don't have to send her anything, but it would be greatly appreciated if you did. Please do not feel obligated to do so. Um, but yes. So that is her letter. Again, thank you so much, Brittany. It totally made my day, especially after the hate that I've been getting on my channel recently. Say thank you. Say thank you. I will definitely be keeping this in a special place. You guys can feel free to send me any letters. Let me know in them if you would want me to read them out loud or not or like read them on camera or not. Hey guys, so Lexi took a nap and she just woke up and I gave her a bottle. As you can see, she threw it on the floor again like she always does when she's done with her bottles. You right? I'm sitting here about to fold some laundry and I think that stuff still needs, what is this? It's just a piece of paper. That stuff needs to be thrown in the washer, and this stuff is clean, and this stuff in the washer and the dryer. So, today is laundry day in our house. It's like almost 8 o'clock, and we're going to Ashley's house soon for a bonfire, and we're going to have s'mores. So, I'm excited. It's just a really pretty night. So, that's what we're doing soon.
Hey guys, I know it's dark and you probably can't see me, but I'm walking home from um, Ashley's house with Lexi. We left early because, well, it's really not early, but the rest of my family's still over there. I need to give Lexi a bath and put her in the bed. Um, she's super tired and she needs a bath. We had to make our s'mores in the um, microwave because it's still wet outside. It was really rainy last week and it's still like the wood was wet and the ground is wet, so can't make fire. They were still good though. You really hate being on your back, don't you? See, I'm all clean. I'm all clean. For bed. He smells so good. Where are you going? Oh.